My voice is totally gone and I'm tired and emotional. But this is our last show. Let's make it fucking rockin', all right? This is Andy Clockwise at billabout.com. Los Angeles really freed me up creatively, to be honest. I, um, there's a huge thing of sort of being a, a medium-sized fish in a small pond to being a tiny fish in a massive pond, you know what I mean? I think LA was like one of those places that I accidentally sort of stumbled upon, which if you would have said to me about three years ago, I'd be living in Los Angeles, I would have told you you were crazy, you know? of my new album and half of the album that's going to come out after that was all made on you know in garages and on aeroplanes and in hotel rooms and then you know in places that I lived when I was crashing on people's couches when I first came to Los Angeles and then you know it slowly developed like that. I sort of did it differently. I picked up totally and left. I didn't really go back and forth to Sydney and Sydney in America and Sydney in America. So I was sort of forced to sort of find a, a new crowd. I would recommend the first three months go out and party your ass off. <laughs> I, I would make friends. I mean, LA is a very social town and it's, uh, you start to notice that it's quite small and then. You know, I mean, like, you can really get in there, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of great stuff going on in Los Angeles. We've created a, a very good following in Los Angeles, and we play, we've been, uh, you know, blessed enough to play some of the great venues there and those sorts of things. And if you're going to come over here, I reckon Australians were really good at getting in there and playing hard, you know what I mean? And I think that whole Australian sort of, we're away from home ambitious streak is really, really good. Because Californians are really lazy. <laughs> we, we grow up on the other side of the earth. I mean, I'm a pop culture obsessive. I feel like when I go home, I know more about what's happening in Hollywood than I do when I'm living right in the thick of Hollywood. There's an Australian love of everything that comes over and that we live on the other side of the earth, so I think we're really savvy with what is going on. And I think the ambition and the, and the way that you can do it in Australia quite easily is probably why it translates. I mean, I had three people come up to me last night going, you know, hammered. Australia is where it's at, man. Everything I see from Australia is awesome, you know. And like, he's probably right, you know. Thank you.